Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today it's finally here. <laughs> I looked back and it took seven months. Yeah, seven months, but I finally got the Shroud Cosmetics and Butte Bean collab. This is the Eats, Eats, <laughs> this is the It's Freaking Bats palette, and this is what it looks like. Ah. So I literally just got this in the mail the other day. So I filmed my first two looks This is gonna be look number two and some swatches and I wanted to go ahead and get that up for you guys to give you my very very first impressions and then just kind of talk about how I'm feeling this far how I'm feeling about how it took like seven months for me to actually get the palette because I know that there's been some issues surrounding the whole pre-order and how long it's taken for people to get their palettes and their orders. So I placed my order as part of that kind of unlimited pre-order which I do think was a mistake. I think they've should have probably limited the pre-order um because they got thousands of orders my order number just for reference and it's the number of palettes i'm in the 6100s is where my order was and that's why it took so long for me to actually get my palette i placed my order during that pre-order like i said so i ordered it october 5th and i just got this in the mail the last week of april so it did take seven months for me to get the palette. Using Butte Bean's discount code did take off about $3.50 from the palette. So the palette was $35 minus the $3.50. It came to $31.50 and then shipping was $6. So altogether it was $37.50 for the palette. And I do think that that's actually a really good price for like a handmade indie palette, especially a collab one, because they probably could have jacked the price up for a collab like this. I have to say, I love the palette packaging. It's so cute. It's very very on brand for Butte Bean and I like the fact that it says hello friends. It feels very sturdy, like it feels like it's got some heft to it. It feels like a really nice palette. I love the gigantic mirror and then the imprint on the packaging, all the cute little bats everywhere is just really, really cute. So I have to say the packaging, spot on. This is just a really cute little palette. I also want to throw in, I did move in between the time that I ordered this palette and then it finally got delivered, um, but I was able to email their customer service and they changed the shipping address. So I was able to actually get it shipped here to my new apartment, which I also appreciate because I know a lot of brands, especially indie brands, have you know rules where it's like once you place your order, you can't change anything about the shipping or the billing. So I really do appreciate that they actually did that. And I did get a response to my email fairly quickly. Before I jump into my thoughts so far, let's go ahead and jump into swatches and the first two looks I ever did. Okay, I'm so excited to jump in. This is my very first time looking, touching, swatching the palette at all. And I'm gonna do just a first impressions look. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I think I really wanna go in with like the green. So I'm thinking like those three shades right there. Hmm, yes, yes, I'm feeling it. Oh, the packaging feels really nice too. It's like heavy, not heavy, but it feels sturdy. Um, and the mirror is a really nice mirror. So I think I'll be able to use it actually when I'm getting ready. I'm gonna just do that satisfying. That's the best. Okay, so my full face is done. All I did was prime my eyes. I primed using one of my old favorites, the Maybelline Superstay Concealer, and then I just set it with the face powder that I used the rest of my face, which is the AOA Studio Perfect Press Powder. All right, let's see, where do I wanna start? Where do I wanna start? I think I'm gonna start with the shade Trappa and just blow that into, ooh, okay. It's very, it looks very pigmented. I'm just gonna tap off the excess there and let's go in. Oh my God, that is pigmented. Okay. Wow, so that blended out really easily. Let's do the other side. Okay. 
Okay, so I think, let me see, I'm looking at these two shimmers. I want to use Handbook on like the outer V and build it up, and then I want to use this one all over the lid, which is Sam. So I think, let's, let's try that. And I have the card from their collection. So what I'd like to do is use a card to help me get like that nice edge. So I'm going to take a different, uh, more kind of condensed fluffy brush and load it up with the shade Handbook and go in. Wow, that came out so pretty. And I haven't gotten any fallout, which is really, really nice. <laughs> All right, let's do the other side. That looks so pretty so far. I really like it. And I am getting a bit of kick up in the pan, but I'm not seeing that transfer at all to like fall out on my face, which is very nice. So I think uh, I'm still going to go to the glitter glue. I'm just going to use my regular NYX glitter glue before I take the shade Sam all over the lid. And I think that's going to look so pretty together. To help that blend a little bit, I'm just going to take this kind of flat fluffy brush and take the shimmer shade Sam and just use it to help blend out like this little edge into my other colors. Then when I have that a little bit up there, I'm going to go back in with the Shimmer Shade Handbook and just kind of rebuild some of the green. And then I'm going to take that dense fluffy brush that I used before and kind of rebuild right here because I did lose a little bit of the green that I kind of already had there. That looks so pretty. I did see and so now this is the first time I am seeing some fallout so I'm gonna see whether or not it stains or if I can just brush it away all right it just brushed away nicely let's do the other side that came out so nicely and I think the blending on this side did turn out a little bit better like what I thought in like my head but it looks so pretty I love these colors together and you know I was thinking of doing like a pop of like purple or something on the lower lash line but I love these colors so much I kind of just want to stick with those for the lower lash line too but before we go to the lower lash line I'm just going to do a really thin black liner on my um, top lid and then we'll move on to the lower lash line Perfect. And for my liner, I just used the AOA Studio Artista, um, what do you call, just the eyeliner pen. And it's in black. For the lower lash line, I think I'm going to start with the shade Trappa and just set that first and then blend it out with the handbook. Oh my god, I am loving how this is coming out. So I'm going to finish up the look. I'm going to go in. I have this green liner from NYX that I think is going to tie everything together really, really nicely. I'm going to put that on. Uh, just regular mascara. This is my favorite Lash Princess mascara from Essence. And then for the inner corner, to be honest, I didn't think that there was a bright shade and I didn't want to dip into like the purples in here. I'm thinking I want to go with more like a yellow toned inner corner. And so I have this loose highlighter from Kylie Cosmetics I'm going to use for that. So I'll put all that on and then I'll zoom you in for the final look. So this is my first ever look with the It's Freakin' Bats palette, and oh my god, it is so cute. I am very, very impressed. Um, so the, the shades that I use, those three shades, Handbook, Sam, and Trappa, they just blend it out really, really nicely. Um, I'm, I'm, for, I'm filming this a little bit later in the day. It's already like 5 p.m., but I'm going to see how they wear for the rest of the night. Um, and I'm excited to like jump in and play with the rest of these colors, because this turned out beautiful. And I would be How low can I go? 
Those are the swatches and the looks honestly like the look that I have today it's really cute I like the tones but I do think the shade spooky is a little patchy or at least on my eyes with this look the way that I used it was a little patchy so I'm gonna try and test that out a little bit more see how I can make it work um, I loved the first look that I did of those greens Mm, so pretty and as it, like looking at this palette I feel inspired like I already have like three more looks I want to do in my head which I didn't think I would have I thought maybe I would have struggled a little bit with this palette but like I've just literally had looks pop out at me and it's inspiring it's different it's unique and I, I'm really enjoying it so far that being said if I knew when I ordered this that it would take seven months to get from me like get to me would I have bought it probably not to be quite honest I thought about canceling my order but it was such a cute palette and I had already placed the order it was kind of easier to just let the order sit than to go back and buy it later if I decided I wanted it again later but like if I knew at the beginning like it would take seven months for me to get this palette I probably wouldn't have ordered it right then I either would have bought it later on or never would have gotten it so I'm really enjoying the palette and like the shades and everything so far um, I will come back in a few weeks once I have fully tested this for a full review letting you know if the quality and everything is worth it so thank you guys so much for watching let me know down below if you picked up this palette and if you've already gotten it how long it took you to get it or if you haven't gotten your palette yet how much longer you think it's going to take for you thank you guys so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye <laughs>